only have a single PC at home and want to play multiplayer, now you can with Aster Multi-Seat Software. Today I will show you how to run multiple instances of Roblox on a single PC running Aster Multi-Seat Software. For more information on what Aster Multi-Seat Software is or how to install, please check out my other videos which I will link below. My computer specs are shown here. And uh, well, how I'm doing this is with Aster Multi-Seat Software. Uh, so just a regular Windows 10 computer. You install Aster Multi-Seat Software, assign um, two or more stations, and then you have essentially uh, three, in, in this case, three independent workstations uh, running off of a single computer. So if you got more than one kid, you want to play Roblox at the same time, only have one computer, not a problem. So I'm going to get right into it. Uh, there's nothing to this game. It's uh, there's nothing that stops it from running. This is more of just a demonstration showing the proof of concept and uh, how much CPU and RAM it actually uses. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Roblox here, and we'll just launch into the first game here. All right, we got our uh, our current usage here. Uh, basically, what you're looking for, is, I guess, frames per second here is uh, indicating that everything's working fine here in this game. How much RAM is currently being used? And this is just on my middle station currently. I'm going to go ahead and jump over to my right station, and we will leave this one running. And then at the end, I'll do my my left station. And then finally, I'll show you Task Manager, uh, indicating all three are actually running off of a single one, and what CPU and, and RAM usage it's, uh, it has total. Okay, now I'm over on my right-hand terminal. Uh, my right-hand terminal is using my second video card, although again, for Roblox, uh, definitely not required <laughs> any kind of uh, high-end video cards. But for other games that I uh, use multi-seat for, it uh, definitely does help to have two video cards in there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and launch Roblox here. On the other station, Roblox is still is still running, and we'll jump into the exact same game here. That way, our both of our characters can be uh, can be together there. So, let's see. All right, there's our middle guy. So that's the middle station running over here. Keyboard on the other one. All right, so, the, so I'm going to go ahead and jump on to my third terminal. Okay, now I'm on my third terminal. Uh, this is my left uh, left screen, labeled as such. And I'm going to go ahead and start Roblox again on this one. And we will jump into the same game as the uh, as the other two. We're already running. Okay, I am in the game here. Just gonna get my middle. I had to log out. Uh, there, this game was full, so now I've got all three terminals in the same game. So there we have it. I have three independent uh, Roblox games running off of a single PC. Uh, three people can play at the same time, and it's not using very much CPU. So about 20%, 20 to 25 percent of my CPU. I will jump into Task Manager here just to give you some details. So let's just order by memory. So you can see, um, yeah, and, and that memory usage actually is, I've got my, uh, my uh, OBS recording running there too. So actual Rollbox is only using uh, 250 megabytes of RAM uh, for each one so you don't need much RAM and CPU wise it's only using 5% um, so again not demanding at all um, so yeah you can probably run many more instances of uh, Roblox if you uh, have the space uh, to set up and you have <laughs> lots of kids over that want to play Roblox at the same time uh, if you have any questions, uh, check out my other videos, but uh, that's it, Roblox running on multiple terminals off of a single PC. Thanks for watching.
to the to that to the killer with the trumpet that gives me money.